Hi friends, now we will compliments. So, compliments are two types. One is binary numbers and decimal numbers. So, binary numbers are 2 and decimal numbers are 10. So, binary numbers are two. One is 1's complement and 2's complement. That's decimal numbers are 9's complement and 10's complement. So, nothing so specific about it. So, it's very easy. The binary numbers are 1's complement. If you plus 1, it's a 2's complement. That's why, if you have a number, you can add 9 values, that's decimal numbers, that's minus, that's plus 1, that's 10's complement. So, it's very easy. So, if you look at this, it's a binary subtraction using 1's and 2's complement. That's why, it's a 9's complement subtraction. So, we can see in depth, but in the syllabus, I don't like to dump it in the syllabus. So, first of all, you will know that 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 you will know. So, we can decide. If you finish it, we will see in the next video. First, we will see once complement. So, once complement. Once complement is what is it? Now, let's take a number and a binary number. Now, let's take a number and a binary number. If you have a binary number, it's not a negation. If you have 0, it's 1. If you have 1, it's 0. So, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is the 1's complement of the number. If you have 1's complement, this is plus 1. If you do it, it's 2's complement. How do you do it? 1 plus 1. Sorry, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is your 2's complement. Very easy, okay. So, this is your 9's and 10's complement. So, this is your 9's and 10's complement. Now, the 9th complement of number is 61. Now, we have two digits. So, we have 99. 99 minus 61. This is minus 1 plus 8. 9 minus 6 is... This is the 9th complement. This is the 9th complement of this number. This number is the 9th complement. If you do plus 1, you can do 39. This is the 10th complement. So, so easy. So, this is the 1's, 2's and 9's and 10's complement. So, we will see in the next class. We will continue the digital syllabus in the next class. So, if you came up, you will solve it. So, if you finish it, you will go for the next class. Multiplex or demultiplex or decoder and coder. Then, you will go for flip flops. So within two days or hopefully in two or three days, we will finish the digital syllabus.